you've been struggling to find awesome assets for your live stream, things like emotes, Twitch panels, logos, and even full overlays, then man, do I have a treat for you today. You may have already heard of Canva. I mean, to be honest, the clue was kind of in the title of this video, but did you know you can create an absolute ton of awesome assets for your live stream? And the best bit about it is completely free. So in this little series, I'm going to be covering in detail all of the ways in which we can create all of the things I've just mentioned, even how we can animate emotes using Canva. But in today's video, we're just going to be going over the basics, giving you a bit of an overview of what Canva is, how you can get hold of it, and to give you an idea of the kind of stuff that you could start creating for your own live stream. I will also include at the end of all of these videos a playlist that you can click through and see every single video that I've made about Canva so that you can quickly find the tools that you're looking for. So let's jump in and get started. Now there are a few ways that you can access Canva. You can go to their website at canva.com or you can download the mobile apps. This is available on both iOS and Android. They also have desktop versions available that you can download or from the website. Great news is this is available on both Windows and Mac. So what is Canva exactly? I guess the best way to describe it is that it is a creative design tool that is there for anybody to use. It's been developed in a way that is really, really simple, but also really powerful. So if design has never been one of your superpowers, Canva is most definitely for you. However, if you are quite adept at already using design programs, then you might find that Canva is a very simple and more streamlined way to put your ideas into practice. Now, once you've navigated to the site or open the app, you'll want to use the sign up option. You want to get yourself an account. The benefit of making an account is that you can then save and access all of your creations across all of your devices. So 100% recommend. Remember, it is completely free. However, there is a paid option. If we take a look at the different plans, now the free option is going to be perfect for most users. But if you do want to upgrade and get the pro version, you do get lots of features that I personally think are really worth it. It's available from $9.99 a year in here in the UK. This is available globally. So depending on where you are, this will update to reflect the pricing in your region. But we can also change that to monthly. So this works out at $10.99 a month. Now, something to note here that makes this exceptionally good value is that that is for up to five people. So if you have a few friends that are all maybe streaming or wanting to use this kind of software, you could all come together and split that cost so that is incredibly affordable but if you're not wanting to shell out just yet you can also do a 30-day free trial i will leave a link for this and my affiliate code down in the description so if you do sign up please use that because you will help out the channel now i actually do use the pro version but this is very very usable in just the free version so get yourself signed up and let's take a look now I've jumped into the app and I'm actually using the desktop version right now. You'll notice that the background is now in dark mode. So that's a really easy thing that you can change on any of the versions just within the standard settings. Now, remember I am using the pro version. So the way in that you can tell any items that are linked to the pro version is they will have this little crown next to them. You can see here, you get all of these items. The only extra bits that you get from using the pro version is a brand kit and a content planner. Now the way in which this works is that Canva is full of a ton of templates to get you started you can use blank templates but the real power here comes from using the templates and bending them to your own requirements it's going to save you so much time but for twitch specifically i just want to show you an example so if you come up to the search bar at the top and just type in Twitch. All of these templates are things that you can use specifically for Twitch. This would work the same for YouTube, for Twitter, for whatever. So we've got loads of stuff on here, things like emotes, overlays, we've got starting soon, we've got offline screens, you've got your logos, you've got absolutely everything you could possibly need. Now, because I'm on the pro version, I can use all of these. So this is why I really strongly suggest that maybe plan out what you want to create, and then you can build them all using the free trial and get all of this for 100% free. But if for any reason, maybe your trial has expired or you've decided not to take the trial and you're just using the complete free version, you'll be able to tell very quickly which of these items are available to you. There will be a little crown on the bottom right hand side for any items that, that you can't use. So let's make this a little bit more specific. Let's just have a quick overview of how we can change the existing templates. So we'll just write in Twitch emote and this is just going to filter down now all of the different emotes. Now I think I'm going to choose this sci-fi space dog emotes for today's examples so when we come in this is what we get we get a full pack 
of all of these different emotes and they are already in the right size to upload to Twitch. Now one of the nice things that we have in here for the pro version is that we also have a resize option at the top so if you did need to resize these for any reason you can click that and just quickly type in the dimensions but we can see they're already at the right dimensions. So I'm not going to customize these emotes we're just going to say do you know what I like these as they are and we just want to use them but if you do want to see a video on how we customize them how we animate them be sure to hit that subscribe button because that video will be coming very soon it will also be included in the playlist at the end of the video providing I've actually recorded it at the time that you're watching this. So the first thing we need to do to quickly export this is either delete this front screen here. You can just do that by hitting the delete button there. But when you go to the download option up at the top here and scroll down, you can see in this drop down, it says select pages. And from there, we can just choose which pages we want. So if I can tick all of them and then just get rid of that top one there. Now up at the top there, we need to change the file type. Now it normally, the suggested gets this right. In this case, it's, it's missed. We don't want to be exporting this as a video all i can think is there must be an animation in here that's making it want to export out as a video what you want to do is use png because that also allows for transparency so when we choose png you also get this option here for transparent background now just as a note these options that have opened up here you can see they've got the little crown there which means they're a pro version so if you're wanting to do this make sure you're using the pro trial or that you have the pro account if you don't don't worry in the next video i'll also go into more depth of how you can export these and use another program to quickly remove those backgrounds again keeping it nice and free for you this just takes out that step if you have the pro version so in this case i would want them to have a transparent background i would make sure the size is correct here and then I just hit download. And there we can see we now have all of our emotes. So let's have a look at something a little bit more complicated. Let's try an overlay. So I can just type in overlay and that will pull up all of the available overlay templates. I'm just gonna pick this one up at the top. It's actually very similar to my current stream colors. So I'll go with that one. However, if it wasn't, these are super, super easy to change. Let me quickly give you a little preview because I will be covering this in a full dedicated tutorial on how to build overlays. You can even make these animated overlays this is incredibly powerful but let's just say up here actually i wanted all of the blue areas to not be blue i can come up to the top choose the blue text there i can maybe change that to say an orange there but then i also want to change these bits of blue so all of these are images and whenever you change an image if we click this you can see there's the colors at the top for this particular image if we change the blue one choose the orange again then we get this option at the bottom where it's going to change all of the blue that is in the images to this orange so if i hit change all it does that across all of them for me now you can really go crazy on this over on the left or if you're using mobile these are all down at the bottom of the screen you can use things like various elements so you can see here graphics shapes photos even videos and audio there's actually a full music library on here when you have the pro version you're fully licensed to use these everywhere that in itself is phenomenal we've even got things like frames and these are really really good for making things like a camera border and again that's going to be another video we could spend days in here you can even upload your own assets so you can see there i've been doing some stuff for my ice cream van <laughs> And I've also been doing stuff for my own Twitch panels. So if you do want to go take a look at some examples of what you can create for your Twitch, just take a look at my live stream. I'll leave a link down below. But as a quick example, let's come to element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search at the top. I'm going to search for background, but I can also make it more specific if you know the type of look you're going for. So if I choose background neon and hit enter, we get all of these things and it's a bit more relevant to what I'm looking for. All of these are free. This one's free. But these ones with the little crown are free. Pro. but you can see we can even use animated assets on here so if i drag this in you can see that that's put that animation up at the top i could drag it to all of these areas if i wanted to make it go a little bit crazy there and for good measure let's chuck one in at the end there so it's really really easy to very quickly customize what these are going to look like so there's tons and tons of stuff you can use here wait a second what is that what is that i've never seen that before that's exactly this i'm gonna have to use that <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that because I have it in my background so um yeah there we go 
<laughs> so if we were done with this and we were ready to download, we would do exactly the same as we did before with the emotes. If it was animated, we could take this as an MP4 video. If we're using it on a live stream, I would probably then use a software to convert that video to be a WebM instead. I will cover that in more detail in the future video when we actually go and create some really, really fancy overlays using these tools. But in this case, again, I would probably just go for a PNG export. Again, a JPEG will work as well if you're just having it as a static overlay and just go ahead and download it. And you can see when we open the file, it's taken away that middle section. So that would be our transparent bit for our overlay. Now let's just take a look at one more example for good measure. Let's come back to our templates and this time let's have a look at the Twitch panels. So you can see here loads and loads to choose from. I actually use this one to create some of my panels. So we're going to use that one again here. But if we wanted to make a change here, you can see you've got all of the ones that you would expect. But let's just say, actually, I don't want that to say about. We can very quickly just double click on the word. Wording. So in my case, I had it as me Beck try and spell my own name right that would be a massive help and that's it <laughs> job done remember if we want to change that background that's on here we can do it by going into our elements we can choose those backgrounds now look the recently used ones are already here so i can just chuck that in there and then it matches my overlay already perfectly now of course we wouldn't use an animation for our twitch panels but if we export this as it is it will just come out as a still so that's absolutely fine so again we can just go to download we can set it to png if the was any transparency there yes we could tick that there actually isn't in this one so we don't really need to tick it and then we choose download and that is it we've got all of our panels there ready to use and upload to twitch straight away in fact we have just created a ton of assets for our live stream in minutes now you really could go crazy with this you can see today is just a bit of an overview but we are going to be looking at this in much more detail and creating all kinds of wonderful things that are really really going to help your stream stand out from the masses on twitch and not only twitch Remember, you need to be promoting your live stream everywhere else. So Canva also gives you tools to be able to create posts for other social media where you can tell people I'm about to go live or you can even embed videos of maybe your live stream highlights and use that in maybe TikTok or Instagram Reels, all those kind of things. So let's close this one down. And again, up here very quickly, let's have a look at TikTok. So let's make it a little bit more specific and do our TikTok neon because we want it to still look like it's one of ours. And let's just choose ah, that one is perfect look at this so you could use this not only on tiktok but you could use this on instagram as well follow me you can drop in your logo into here and your handle you can see this is a video at the bottom you could add a page that then goes over and shows maybe one of your highlights from your stream that will automatically play this is just this is just the beginning can you see how excited i am Okay, so I've got a feeling that this video is already a lot longer than I anticipated. Today really was just a quick overview for you guys to get an idea of how you could use this and decide actually do I want to look into this in more detail. If you do, be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button. I will leave links for everything that we've discussed down in the description. And as promised, there will be the next video up here if you want to watch it in order of the series as it's released. And I'm also going to pop a playlist down here. You'll be able to find every single Canva video that I've created in that playlist and become a master of Canva. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.